Today, I will share with you a tutorial on making a sphere combination deformation animation. And I created two different styles of animation to illustrate this technical effect. The instructional video will explain the deformation of a single sphere. If you want to get my full case file, you can get it on Patreon. The render uses Redshift. You can modify it on this basis. Let's start our case study today. Create a sphere in the scene. Type switch to hexahedron. Other parameters remain by default. We need to split the sphere in two. Break the sphere down according to the structure lines I drew. Select the sphere and press C to turn the sphere into an editable polygon. In edge mode, Press keyboard U to use loop edge selection. Right mouse button in 3D view and select edge to spline under the transform command. Select line segment to modify view display color. Then select the sphere to turn on the transparent display. The red line is invisible because the sphere exactly coincides with the object. Select the line segment object to switch to object mode and then scale. Now we can obviously see the red line segment. Select the sphere, switch to face mode and manually select the separated area. We seem to have encountered a little problem. There is an extra part of the line segment just extracted. It doesn't matter, we select the line segment to switch to point mode and manually select the unwanted part to delete. Select Sphere Switch to Face Mode Continue Selection. Note that the selection mode is kept visible only by default, otherwise the back one will also be selected. After a simple operation, we selected the surface that needs to be separated. Right mouse button in the clone command, click Split. Now the sphere splits in two. Name and color objects in the scene for easy operation and management. At this point, do some people think that I can just add a point deformation of the character? Then I will operate the demonstration. What specific technical problems will occur? Obviously, this is not going to work. First we need to flatten one of them and then deform it. I chose to use fabric simulation. The effect of default parameters plus simple ground collision simulation is obviously not ideal. Try creating a new sphere as a collider and then set the animation of the size and position. Add collider labels for simulation. Now the effect is much better than the default. Just simply adjust the parameters and you are done. The problem now is that the sphere is not flat enough and the fabric is not loose enough. The collider has been adjusted to basically achieve our expected effect. Next, adjust the fabric parameters. Now the fabric doesn't look loose. Bendiness changed to one stretchiness increased to 50. Now we have a flattened piece of the model. Select the model and right-click the current state to turn to the object. Jump the timeline to frame 0 and remove all fabric simulation labels. Finally, rename the transformed model and return the pivot point to 0. The 3D view only retains the flattened model. Change the display color to white. Select the model right mouse button to add the pose deformation label. Mix properties expanded, check point. Then take the model we separated at the beginning, choose any one and specify it. Switch the editing mode of the label to animation. Pull the intensity parameter to see the deformation effect. We only realized the animation from plane to hemisphere. The case requires a complete sphere change. Continue to add point pose deformation objects and modify the name to facilitate subsequent animation management. Note that the current two semicircles are the same object. After
After copying, modify the scale Y to minus 1. Now pull the slider, and you will find that the attitude deformed is the same. At this time, you need to use the connection object to deal with the problems you are currently encountering. And now we can animate the sphere as it deforms up and down. Finally, set the time range of the animation, a total of 100 frames. Set the top animation time to vary from 0 to 50 frames. The animation time at the bottom varies from 50 to 80 frames. Select the parameters to set the animation with the right mouse button to display the animation curve. Now the animation will be completely flattened in the middle, which is not what I want. Select the bottom deformed keyframe for offset operation. Pull the timeline to see if the animation deformation effect is natural. Finally, stretch all keyframes to extend the animation time and set the total duration to 80 frames. So far, the core technology of this case has been shown to you without reservation. Next is the free time. First, create an instance object to combine the spheres. Set scale Y of instance object to minus 1 set rotated H to 90. If we play back the timeline, we get a full animation of the sphere composition. Finally, increase the thickness of the model and set the model subdivision and smoothing operation. Because of the instance of the pose deformation model, the two objects are now different. Ray designating as a smooth subdivision object solves the problem. It is even possible to create chamfers, noting that the order specified by the deformer is in the children of thickness. Today, this case will be shared here first. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more interesting and practical C4D content, please subscribe to my Patreon. Your support is the motivation for me to continue sharing. Thank you to my friends who have supported me. See you next time, my friends.